the universe. Here, amidst a vast array of seemingly empty spaces, where starlight barely reaches, a mystery has arisen that defies our boldest theories. More than a century ago, pioneering astrophysicists looked up, driven by their curiosity to unravel the mysteries of the heavens. Without even realizing it, they had discovered cosmic rays, invisible messengers traveling almost at the speed of light, carrying stories from the far reaches of the cosmos. Today, our search continues with tools far more advanced than our predecessors could have imagined. Nevertheless, the universe still holds secrets that elude even the most sophisticated instruments of our time. One cosmic ray that stands out among these cosmic rays is the particle Amaterasu. The energy detected in it is so enormous that it defies explanation. Named after the Japanese sun goddess, this particle lights the way to understanding the deepest mysteries of the universe. But where did this mysterious particle come from? What secrets about violent and high energy processes in the universe does it hold? And why did it emerge from the darkness of the cosmic void where there are no known sources of such energy? Let's get to the bottom of this. In the early 1900s, astrophysics was on the verge of a revolutionary discovery. Scientists armed with curiosity and primitive instruments were about to discover a phenomenon that would forever change our understanding of the universe. It all started with Father Theodore Wolf, a Jesuit priest and physicist. In 1909, he climbed the Eiffel Tower with a device of his own making, an electrometer, his goal was simple but bold, to measure ionizing radiation at different altitudes. Wolf's observations revealed something unexpected. The radiation level at the top of the tower was higher than at the bottom. This discovery paved the way for Victor Hess to take to the skies in a hot air balloon in 1912. Hess's daring journey into the upper atmosphere led to a crucial discovery radiation did not decrease with altitude, as might be expected if it came from Earth. However, it increased, indicating an extraterrestrial source. He subsequently won the Nobel Prize in 1936 for his discovery of cosmic rays. Thus was born cosmic ray research, a field that would fascinate scientists for generations to come. In the annals of cosmic ray research, one event stands out for its amazing factor, the discovery of the Oh My God or OMG particle. This event was a turning point in our understanding of ultra-high energy cosmic rays. Discovered in 1991, the OMG particle was a cosmic ray of such incredible energy that it baffled scientists. With an estimated energy of about 320 exa-electron volts, it was the most energetic cosmic ray observed in history. To visualize the enormous energy of the OMG particle, imagine the kinetic force of a baseball thrown by a professional pitcher. Now compress that energy into a particle of almost infinitesimal size. If you were in its path, rest assured, it would fly right through. It wouldn't be fatal, but the DNA of the cells affected by it would be irreversibly altered. The particle's name, Oh My God, reflects the surprise it caused in the scientific community. Its energy was so enormous, it approached the theoretical limit set by the Grison zatsepin kuzmin also called the GZK limit. The GZK limit is based on the interaction of ultra-high energy cosmic rays with the cosmic microwave background, the residual radiation from the Big Bang that permeates the universe. As these cosmic rays pass through space, they occasionally collide with photons of relic radiation. These collisions can rob cosmic rays of energy, effectively limiting the maximum energy they can store over vast intergalactic distances. 
the limit of the GPC is estimated to be about 50 to 60 exa-electron volts. The limit is important because it helps astrophysicists determine the possible origin of ultra-high energy cosmic rays. If cosmic rays with energies above this limit are observed, it suggests that their source must be relatively close by cosmic standards, within a few hundred million light years. So let's get back to our particle. The discovery of the OMG particle raised important questions. What cosmic phenomenon could accelerate the particle to such extreme energy? How could it travel vast intergalactic distances without losing its energy? Let's move to the 21st century where the study of cosmic rays has evolved thanks to advanced technology. On May 27, 2021, a new chapter of this saga was written with the discovery of the Amaterasu particle. The telescope array experiment, located in the vast expanse of Utah, was the site for this monumental discovery. Its surface detector, a network of sophisticated sensors spread over many miles, detected a cosmic ray of unprecedented energy, the Amaterasu particle. With an energy of 244 exa-electron volts, this particle stood out not only for its tremendous power, but also for its mysterious origin. Unlike previous cosmic rays, the Amaterasu particle seemed to emerge from a void in the universe, a region devoid of known astronomical objects capable of producing such high-energy phenomena. This discovery raised new questions. How could such an energetic particle emerge from the cosmic void? What processes could accelerate the particle to such extreme energies? The Amaterasu particle has challenged existing theories and prompted scientists to delve deeper into the mysterious world of cosmic rays. As we delve deeper into the mystery of the Amaterasu particle, we find ourselves at the crossroads of mystery and science. The origin and trajectory of this cosmic intruder is not just a mystery to be solved, perhaps it will lead to some rethinking of astrophysics. The Amaterasu particle, with its staggering energy of 244 exa-electron volts, has embarked on a journey through space of unimaginable proportions. Its path, traced by scientists, leads to an unexpected source, a vast cosmic void, seemingly desolate and calm. Although the local void is a seemingly barren region of the cosmic landscape, it's actually not completely devoid of celestial bodies. A few galaxies do exist in this void, rare and isolated. Unlike the densely packed and bright cluster of galaxies and neighboring clusters, the local void is home to no more than four known galaxies. Yet how could such a desolate space have produced a particle of such enormous energy? The theories proposed by scientists range from the plausible to the extraordinary. One compelling theory points to supermassive black holes. These cosmic giants lurking at the centers of galaxies are known for their ability to accelerate particles to near light speeds. Could a distant and invisible supermassive black hole be the birthplace of the Amaterasu particle? The mechanics of such a scenario involve complex interactions with magnetic fields and the black hole's enormous gravitational pull. As matter spirals into the black hole, it releases energy, potentially accelerating particles to ultra-high energies. However, the mystery is only compounded when one considers the particle's trajectory. The path leading back to the local void suggests an origin far away from known supermassive black holes. This inconsistency has prompted scientists to search for other possible options. In the quest to unravel the origin of the Amaterasu particle, some theories venture into the deep and virtually uncharted territories of dark matter annihilation and cosmic string collisions that are almost on the verge of speculation. The dark matter annihilation hypothesis suggests that when these mysterious particles collide, they annihilate each other, 
releasing massive amounts of energy, potentially generating cosmic rays of ultra-high energy such as Amaterasu. Another fascinating concept is cosmic strings, thought to be remnants of the early universe and carrying enormous mass and energy. Theorizing these cosmic strings collide like cracks in the cosmic fabric, they could be powerful enough to generate particles with energies as high as those observed in the Amaterasu particle. Also, scientists do not exclude the option that the Amaterasu particle could be a consequence of previously unexplored astrophysical processes or even evidence of physics beyond our current models. Delving deeper into the effects of cosmic rays on our planet, we find a surprising intersection between the cosmic and the technological. Cosmic rays, these high-energy particles from the depths of cosmos, don't just wander into the voids of cosmos. They interact deeply with the Earth and its technological structure. As cosmic rays enter the Earth's atmosphere, they collide with molecules, creating a rain of secondary particles. Some of these particles reach the surface and may well affect electronic systems, from the simplest gadgets to the most sophisticated satellite systems. One of the most intriguing consequences concerns our digital infrastructure. Cosmic rays can cause single event upsets, fleeting failures in electronic circuits. This can lead to errors in computer systems affecting everything from data integrity to system functionality. In space technology, satellites and spacecraft are particularly vulnerable. These machines operating in the harsh environment of space face a constant barrage of cosmic radiation. Engineers are forced to design these systems with robust defenses and error-correcting codes to mitigate the effects of cosmic rays. The technological impact of cosmic rays goes beyond simple equipment malfunction. It affects how we design and operate systems in space and on Earth. Research on cosmic rays like Amaterasu not only deepens our understanding of the universe, but also helps us develop more sustainable technologies. As we continue our research, we learn to adapt and evolve our technological world in harmony with the cosmic forces that shape it. The universe is a vast arena of incessant activity in which cosmic rays play no small part. Born from the most energetic and dynamic processes in the cosmos, these particles tell the story of creation destruction and the fundamental forces at work in the universe. Our own star, the Sun, is an abundant source of cosmic rays. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections hurl streams of uncharged particles into space, some of which reach Earth, affecting our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere. Outside our solar system, the violent death of stars and supernova explosions is a powerful cosmic ray factory. These catastrophic events release enormous amounts of energy, accelerating particles to near light speeds. Pulsars, the incredibly fast spinning remnants of massive stars, also contribute to the cosmic ray population. Their intense magnetic fields and rapid rotation create conditions for particle acceleration. Perhaps the most mysterious sources are the supermassive black holes lurking at the centers of galaxies. As matter spirals in these cosmic monsters, it releases jets of high-energy particles contributing significantly to the cosmic ray flux. Traveling through the universe, these cosmic rays interact with magnetic fields and in interstellar and intergalactic matter, weaving a complex picture of astrophysical phenomena. Cosmic rays play a key role in the formation of the universe, they contribute to the ionization of interstellar and intergalactic medium, affect star formation, and even influence the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang. Upon reaching Earth, cosmic rays can cause spectacular auroras, natural light phenomena that color our skies. They also play a role in cloud formation and Earth's climate. In astrophysics, the study of ultra-high-energy cosmic rays, or UHRCs, represents a frontier of discovery and mystery.
These particles, including recent discoveries such as Amaterasu, gives us a glimpse of the most powerful forces in the universe. Uherts with energies higher than normal are not just particles, they're messengers from the far reaches of the cosmos. Their origin is often associated with the most violent and energetic events known to science, such as supernovae, gamma ray burst, and the violent regions surrounding the supermassive black holes. The discovery of the Amaterasu particle, with its staggering energy of 244 exaelectron volts, was a milestone in the field. Discovered during the telescope array experiment, it's a testament to the persistent quest to understand these high energy processes. However, with new discoveries come new challenges. The extreme energies of UHERCs call into question our current scientific models. One of the main problems is to elucidate their origin. Due to their high energy, these particles travel great distances, slightly deflected by magnetic fields, which makes it difficult to determine their exact sources. Another challenge is understanding the mechanisms that accelerate the particles to such high energies. The processes that can transfer such enormous power to a single particle remain one of the great mysteries of astrophysics. The study of UHERCs also faces the limitations of current technology. Detecting and analyzing these rare particles requires highly sensitive and extensive observatories, often covering large geographical areas. Moreover, these beams operate at energies far beyond those achievable in man-made gas pedals, offering a unique window into the laws governing the universe at its most extreme. As we delve into the future of cosmic ray research, recent discoveries and ongoing projects such as CALIT, the Pierre Auger Observatory, and the Telescope Array Project are at the forefront of this scientific odyssey. CALIT, located on the International Space Station, is exploring the mysteries of high-energy cosmic ray electrons. It is its data that suggested these energy-filled electrons originate from nearby young cosmic phenomena, possibly supernova remnants. The Pierre Auger Observatory, located on the plains of Argentina in turn, observes ultra-high-energy cosmic rays from Earth the observatory's discoveries have paved the way to understanding the extragalactic origin of these cosmic rays. To summarize, the study of cosmic rays is not just an attempt to understand high-energy particles, but also a window into the structure of the universe. These cosmic messengers arising from the most energetic events in the universe tell stories of stellar genesis, galactic evolution, and the primordial forces shaping the cosmos. They are not just particles moving through space. They are the storytellers of the world creation and cataclysmic events. Once again, they remind us of the fragile nature of life and its creations in the grand cosmic narrative.